Hi friends, it's time for school. Can you come sit and help me with school? Good morning. Hi Ace. Hi Mario. Hi Nicholas. Hi Nathan. Hi Kingston. Who else has been coming on? Hi Javon. Good morning guys. Let me know if you watch this, okay? So let's put some things back. The other day, Miss Jen took everything down from the board. So let's put some of our things back by starting with colors. I'll say it first and then you say it, okay? Can you see this one? Brown, brown. Pink, pink. Purple, purple. How about blue? Blue. Green. Green. Miss Jen's favorite color. Red. Red. I wonder what your favorite color is. Orange. Orange. And this one is yellow yellow. Let's do our shapes. What shape is this, friends? Triangle. How about this one? You're right. Star. Oval. Octagon. What's this, guys? Yes, a rectangle, rectangle. That's hard to say. Crescent. What's this one? A heart. How about this? Square. And let me hear. You're right. It's a circle. So those are our shapes. Let me put the shapes back. We did colors. Let me put colors back. What else did I have over here? Oh, let's do our months, okay? Months of the year. Ready? These are the months of the year. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, yeah. August, September, October, November, December. Those are the months of the year, right? Let me put those here. Let's clap and sing our days of the week song, okay? You could clap or put your hands on your legs. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday, days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Good job with days of the week. Then we also were trying to sort animals and food. But what happened to Miss Jen's food category? Well, we could do it this way. So we either have animals or we have food. When I show you the picture, you help me decide if it's food or an animal. Is this food? Yes, yes, this is food. Yes, you eat french fries. I'll put it over here. Is this food? Yes, yes, that's bread. What are these, friends? 
bananas. And we know how to sign bananas. Do you eat bananas? Yes. Are bananas food? Yes. Yes, Miss Jen. How about this? A hot dog. Hot dog. Do you eat hot dogs? Yes. We eat hot dogs. Are hot dogs food? Yes. Hot dogs are food. How about these? That's a bagel. Are bagels food? Yes, bagels are food. What's this called? Broccoli. Is broccoli an animal? No, broccoli is not an animal. Is broccoli food? Yes, you eat broccoli. What's this? Spaghetti. Is spaghetti an animal? No, no. Do you eat spaghetti? Yes. Is spaghetti food? Yes. Good job, guys. What's this? Oh, here's my card. Food. Let me slide these over. Food. We're looking for food. Watermelon. Have you had watermelon? We've had watermelon here. This is the time for watermelon. Do you eat watermelon? Yes. I like watermelon. Watermelon is a food. Okay, so now let's make sure this pack is all animals. Animals, not food. Food is finished. Now we're looking for animals. Here's a lion. Is this an animal? Yes, that's an animal. Good job. A giraffe. Is a giraffe an animal? Yes, yes. How about this, friends? That's a cow. A cow. Is a cow an animal? Yes. A cow is an animal. Yes. I like how you're helping me organize and sort my categories. What is this? A duck. Is this an animal? Yes. Yes, this is an animal. That's a duck. What's this? A cat, a cat. A cat is an animal. Yes, a cat is an animal. Yes. What's this? A horse, a horse. Is a horse an animal? Yes. A horse is an animal. Rabbits, rabbits. Are rabbits animals? Yes, yes. Good job, guys, good job. Okay, now let's look at our sight words that we introduced. I'll say them and then you repeat it, okay? We're upping our game a little bit here. The, the. This one says it, it. This one says on, on. Me, like me, me. And, and, and I, okay, I. One more time just to read them. The, it, on, me, and, and I. 
And one day I talked about word families, words that end in the same ending, right? That we would start to try to read these. Let's look at this one. This first one is sat, sat. And then this one is cat, cat. And how about fat? And then this one, mat, mat. One more time. Sat, cat, fat, and mat. These all ended with A-T. Now what if I change it to words that end in A-N? A-N. Look at this one. Ran. T -t 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 Tan. K -k 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 Can. M Man. And fan. One more time. Ran, tan, can, and fan. Good job, guys. Let me read Yummy Yummy Food for My Tummy one last time. Yummy Yummy Food for My Tummy. Far, far away in the middle of the deep blue sea were two small islands. On Banana Island, there lived a little chimp named George. And on Coconut Island, there lived a little chimp named Jess. See how we have two characters? George and Jess. I have a bee flying around. One day, George saw Jess and thought, wow, she looks friendly. And Jess saw George and thought, hey, he looks nice. And they both thought about how much fun it would be to share a banana milkshake and a piece of coconut cake. But there was a problem. In the deep blue sea between the two islands, sharks! Yummy, yummy, food for my tummy, the shark sang when they saw the little chimps. Don't worry, shouted George to Jess. I have a plan. I'll make some wings from the leaves of my banana trees and fly across to visit you. George flapped and flapped his new wings. He jumped up and down, but he couldn't fly. Yummy, yummy, food for my tummy, the shark sna sang, snapping on George's little chimp toes. I've got an idea, shouted Jess to George, excitedly. I'll tunnel deep under the sea and come to visit you. Jess dug and dug, but the sharks heard the digging noise. Yummy, yummy, food for my tummy, the sharks sang as they smashed and bashed the tunnel until it flooded. Oh no, Jess. Never mind, called George. I've got another idea. Jess watched as George tied slippery banana peels to his hands and feet and started to ski surf across the water. Jess knew that this was the silliest, silliest idea so far. But before she could warn George, ah, he fell in. Yummy, yummy, food for my tummy. George swam faster and faster. The sharks got closer and closer. George made it back to Banana Island just in time. That was a close one called Jess. Jess soon thought of a brilliant plan. This will scare the sharks away. With a mighty roar, she jumped up and down from behind the tree, waving her arms around. 
But the sharks were not in the least bit afraid. They found the crabby coconut costume very funny and laughed until their bellies ached. Yummy, yummy food for my tummy. This is no good, thought the little chimps. We've tried every idea in our heads. We need to think of something new if we're ever going to share milkshakes and cake. They both climbed up their trees. A very good place to go when you need to think. See, there goes George and there goes Jess. They're climbing up the trees. As the chimps climbed higher and higher, the trees began to bend. The higher they climbed, the more the trees bent and bent until, oh no, we'll be eaten for sure. There's George and there's Jess. Then something amazing happened. Their treetops met and tangled tightly and together to form a big leafy knot Hooray! We're saved, cried George and Jess, high above the horrible hungry sharks. And they were together. Hi, George, said Jess. Hello, Jess, said George. Look at their together, George and Jess. Something like this. To celebrate their new friendship, George and Jess had a party with music and dancing, and of course, lots of banana milkshakes and coconut cake. Now, how does do George and Jess look? Look at their faces. They look happy. They look happy. Look at the sharks. The sharks look mad and maybe sad. The end. The book is finished. We finished the book. Good job, guys. Now, let's just do one last thing. Bear with me as I try to turn. Oh, boy. I brought this home. And let's see if we could just do a little bit of counting. Okay. Ooh, I, I, I. Do a little bit of counting, okay? Look at the number I have here. One. Miss Jen's going to put one. Ah, oh no, do these not stick? One. Oh boy, it's not going to stick. Hold on, friends. Hold on, hold on. Let me draw one circle. I'll stand on this side. Let me draw one circle. Can you see it? That's one. What number is this? Two. So I need two circles. One, two. What number is this? Here we have three. How many circles did I put? One, two, three. What number is next? Four. One, two, three, four. What number here is here? We have five. Help me count five. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see what we have so far. One, two, three, four, five. I think we could go higher. Six. Help me put six circles. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's six circles. What comes after six? Seven. Let me put a seven and I'll draw seven circles. Ready? One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven. What comes after seven? Eight. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight. What comes after eight? Nine. Nine. Let's draw nine circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What comes after nine? Ten. You're right. Let me put a ten and help me draw ten circles. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten circles. Let's count all of our numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We did it. Ten. Okay, I'm going to stop for now. I'll talk to you later. Be good.